What is up, you guys? This is Comet Shredder, and I would like to personally welcome you to the first ever ukulele fan creation, cooperation, collaboration, conglomeration, conjunction, something like that, all that good stuff. That's right. Anyway, the first ever culmination of bringing together stuff that we as fans have made for ukulele. We have some great fan art. We have some theories. We even have a fan-made character. So I think that we will see some really cool stuff here. Let's just get right to the video. Before we get to the fan-made content, I just wanted to let you guys know that I apologize for like all the mess in the background. As you can see, there's a new egg box. I got a brand new keyboard for me. It's a mechanical one, but it doesn't make a lot of noise, so that way it won't mess up my recordings. But anyway, just want to let you guys know about that little update and why there's a bunch of mess in the background. Now let's get to the great fan-made content. First, I'd like to pull up a drawing that someone named Keika, I'm, I'm really sorry if I got your name wrong, that's just kind of how it looks like to me. Uh, they linked me on Reddit to this drawing that they drew. It, you know, it's a fan of, obviously, it's Yuka and Laylee. And this is, like, it's just, like, really, really well done. I mean, you know, I, they drew this, like, while the Kickstarter was going, and so hadn't seen a whole lot of Yuka and Laylee yet. I mean, like, the, the amount of talent that people have for drawing, like, I would never be anywhere near this, that's why I don't try to do any like drawing and stuff, but just like look at all that detail, like all the shadowing and stuff. I'm not like a great art critic either or whatever, but that like I think that looks really, really good, so like good job for you. That I, I really like how that looks and who knows, you might have a might have a calling for drawing video game characters. Maybe you'll get in on some ukulele too. Should consider letting Platonic know about that. Next up, we have a character that probably isn't in the game at this point, but I think it's really cool. The YouTuber named Jogging Kangaroo sent it to me, and I will pull up the picture that he sent me right now. And as you can see, it's a penguin. He has a nice little holiday decorative sweater on, and uh, the description that Jogging Kangaroo included was, this penguin detests the cold and gets the shivers, so he's to wrap up in all this festive clothing that he can find. And, you know, he said an idea for it could be like, you know, the penguin lost his scarf and you have to go find it for him. Or like, he's hungry, so you need to go find him a fish because he can't swim. It's too cold for him. He doesn't like the cold. So I, th I think that's pretty cool. He said it would be included in the blizzard or the snowy blizzard, whatever level. Then, you know, I've started playing that music for this guy because it's only fitting. David Wise did a really good job on this working title even, so I'm looking forward to what he did for the rest of the music for this level. But as you can see, I think it'd be pretty cool to have a penguin involved on the level. Not sure if Platonic will implement one already. Um, I, if they were going to, I'm sure they've already started on one. So I think it'd be pretty cool to see if, you know, maybe Jogging Kangaroo is kind of on the right track and guessing what they might include in the game. So I think that's pretty cool. I, I like how the penguin looks. I like the like the detail. I like the little Christmas tree on it. So that's yeah, a really good job. Really good job. Nice! The last thing that we'll do for this first weekly episode of fan contributions is a theory from Josh Ruark. And I'll, I'll just read you word for word what he typed to me and I'll put it on the screen so you can read it as well. He said, I have a theory. Let us assume Yuka and Laylee are simply characters in this fictional world. They find a magical book that needs assistance, similar to Cheeto from Banjo-Kazooie, which I'll have on the screen for you. So in case you didn't know who Cheeto was, in case for some reason you didn't play Banjo-Kazooie, now you know who he is. All right, all right. In this world, it will act as a hub, I bet. They have to solve puzzles or collect items to open the next chapter of the book. Each chapter presents them with a new subworld where they have to rescue the ghost-like characters previously mentioned, which are the, the ghost riders, which uh, I introduced in one of the videos that Platonic sent out an update for a few videos back. I'll put that in the description, and so you can check that out too. Um, let's see... They undoubtedly will be the key to unlocking new chapters, just a theory though. So I think that's a pretty good theory, and then he added, I also bet that the book is a bad guy. Somehow. Someway. Please. And I, I think that, you know, this theory is entirely possible. I mean, again, you know, aside from Platonic, none of us know what they're doing for sure with this game, so I think that's really cool too, that, you know, it's kind of keeping us all in a mystery. But, you know, it could be a, a decent plot twist to have, like, the main thing that you're going through be the bad guy. I, I don't know if Platonic would do that because with the whole Banjo-Kazooie thing through Rare, you knew pretty well up front who the bad guy was, or bad witch, I guess. But yeah, you know, they didn't really do any plot twists on you, so who knows, maybe they could throw one in, but I don't think that's a pretty good theory. And I think that will do it for this first 
ukulele fan contribution episode. I, I really appreciate the people that sent in stuff. If you want to see your thing featured next week, make sure you can send it to my email. I'll include that in the description below. You can you know, comment on here. You can comment on the Reddit thread that I'll be posting this video on. Send me all the stuff that you have, and you might see it in next week's episode. Thank you all for watching this first episode of the Ukulele Fan Contribution. This has been Comment Shredder, and I'll see you guys next time.